new, new, new tutorial for you. This very nice cruise-shaped cake. It's very, very useful, I think, comfortable. Oh, because you have the opening for the arms so that you can move your arms as you like. So I think this project is really fantastic and it's very easy to do. I will explain you everything in detail for any size. So are you ready? Let's get started. Oh, please give me one like, please, because I need your likes for my channel to grow. Thank you so much and, and subscribe my channel and click the bell to get all notifications for all new English tutorials, okay? Thank you, let's get started! Slip note and now chain so many time you like to wrap around your head so long and so large as you like. For this project you can use any kind of yarn you like and any kind of hook size. My foundation chain is long fifty five show you otherwise you don't believe me is 54 55 centimeters long i tell you how many inches is about 20 22 21.5 inches long 76 chains i did totally uh, make uh, make so many times you need uh, it must be an even number 76 chains I made now additional chain one to start and in the second one single crochet one now again into the same stitch double crochet one like that okay now from here you have to repeat always the same segment from here now skip the next chain stitch and into the next one repeat single crochet one double crochet one into the same skip the last the next stitch and into the next one again repeat always the same single crochet one double crochet one into the same skip one and repeat continue like that all across the chain stitch the ch uh, see, all across the foundation chain sorry I am at the end of the row skip one stitch go into the first take the beginning of your chain stitches 
in search you hook into the first single crochet you did at the beginning of the row and slip stitch to join in this way now I want to join the base as well to complete my round remove the hook from the stitch turn go into the first chain stitch at the beginning of the row go into the last chain stitch at the end of this foundation chain here you have the yarn excess yarn over pass it through the first and second loop yarn over chain one and remove and finish in this way this is my method not to twist the begin the foundation chain okay I'm sure in this way Okay, ready for my second row chain 2 which takes the place of the first double crochet and into the same very first stitch again double crochet 1 so I'm starting this round increasing at first now in the next four stitches 1 2 3 and 4 just one double crochet in each one so in the first one one double crochet into the next one just one into the next one just one into the next one just one okay now again increasing into the next stitch so double crochet one and two into the same stitch this is the segment i have to repeat all the way around i have to increase after each four stitches so i show you again one two three Four. and now five and six into the same show you again one two three four into the next one five and six go ahead like that all the way around Okay, the last five stitches left into the next one into the next two into the next three into the next four into the last one five and six and now a slip stitch to join into the top of the chain two like that that's the end of round two
round number three I don't have to increase chain one into the same very first stitch single crochet one and into the same double crochet one skip the next stitch this one go into the next one and repeat single crochet one double crochet one skip one and repeat single crochet one double crochet one skip the next one and into the next one repeat single crochet one double crochet one repeat the Suzette stitch all the way around okay this is the end of round three as you see I'm doing two items of the same project I want to show you we are at the same stage you see round three the beginning of round three with gray color and now I want to show you how to finish round three with the purple color at the end of this round slip stitch to join into the first single crochet like that okay round four chain two which takes the place of the uh, first double crochet and into the same very first stitch again one double crochet more so one and two I have to start any round with um, an increase now I have to increase after each five stitches at round two I increased after four now after five so into the next one double crochet one into the next two into the next three into the next four into the next five number five now again into the next I have to increase so six and seven together into the same stitch below and I have to repeat that all the way around show you just a little bit again into the next one into the next two into the next three into the next four into the next five into the next six and seven repeat that all the way around okay I am at the end of this round a few stitches left this is the last increase to double crochet into the same stitch then I have just one two three stitches left it doesn't matter I don't have to complete the segment I just double crochet one in each one of these left three stitches one two and three and now slip stitch to join into the top of the chain two ready for next row chain one enter the very first stitch and single crochet one sorry I just want to repeat the stitches okay now it's okay I repeat chain one into the very first stitch single crochet one and into the same very first stitch double crochet one skip the next stitch this one and in the next one repeat single crochet 
double crochet. Skip one. In the next single crochet, double crochet. And go ahead like that all the way around. This is round six. I have to come back to my uh, increases. Uh, so where uh, when I was at round two, I increased after each four stitches. Round four after five stitches. Now at round six, after six stitches. I will start immediately with one increase, so chain two, which takes the place of the first double crochet, yarn over, go into the very first stitch again and put an additional double crochet, one into the same stitch, one and two double crochet, so I'm starting this round with um, one increase. Now in the next six stitches I will put just one double crochet in each one. So into the next one, one, in the next two, in the next three, and then four, and then five, and then six, and now in the next one, seven and eight into the same stitch. So you have to increase every time after six stitches. Repeat all the way around. Round seven again, the Suzette stitch, one single crochet, one double crochet into the same stitch without any increase. At round 9 please stop increasing. Only if you have a very big size you can work additional round 2 so you, uh, you come to uh, round 11 and then from round 12 you stop increasing. Okay, I give you all the measures for my yoke. So for the diameter of neck opening, I got 19 centimeters or 7,5 inches for the yoke before stopping increasing, we got 11 Point five centimeters or four comma five inches. From round 10, uh, if you have a size until, I will say, double large, you stop increasing from round 10, so you just have to double crochet one in each stitch below without increasing. So continue alternating one round double crochet and one round Suzette stitch but you only have to remember that from this point on you don't have to increase anymore. Just working into the same number of stitches below for all rounds. Okay, when you reach about 9 inches uh, length uh, and you are more or less 
near the half of your arm you can create the two arm opening so put a stitch marker where you want to create the opening one left and one right so you know that you will create from this point on the opening for moving your arms okay after you put the two stitch marker on the uh, front side where you decide to create the arms opening now cut the yarn because we have to restart working from another point so cut the yarn chain one cut the yarn and fasten it off like that now we can start working exactly the same we will work separately at first from one stitch marker to the other only this uh, portion of my work on the front and then I will work from this stitch marker all the way around towards the other one for the back side. I will work front and back separately, okay? I, mm, I want to start from the back, okay, from the longest way. And I just have to go ahead exactly with the same stitch pattern, exactly the same. insert your hook into the stitch after the stitch marker single crochet one double crochet one skip one stitch and single crochet double crochet skip one and repeat till you get to the other side of the stitch marker. I'm working now at the back side of my cape, okay? Okay, I'm near to the other stitch marker and I'm missing a needed stitch to close my stitch pattern. Ah, but, but it doesn't matter. I remove the stitch marker and move it to the next stitch so that I have the necessary stitch I need to finish my stitch. And skip one stitch in the next one finish this row with one single crochet and now from here chain two and turn and repeat one double crochet in each stitch below as usual then you <coughs> Then, sorry for my dogs, my husband is coming and pl please be quiet, I'm doing a tutorial and continue all across the row with one double crochet in each stitch below, then next row Suzette stitch, then again uh, double crochet then Suzette stitch and so on till you get to the desired length for your cape okay. 
Okay, my guys, you see I worked all the back side. I was at the end of my work and I made this very nice fringe. Then I will explain you how to do it. Now I have to do the same to the front side, at the front side, exactly the same. So I will take my new yarn, slip note, Okay, now insert your hook into the stitch with the stitch marker that you can now remove. Insert your hook into the stitch this way and slip stitch to join the new yarn. Okay, now you can start chain one your Suzette stitch, single crochet one, double crochet one into the same stitch, skip one into the next one, repeat. And you go ahead, of course, the same number of rows you did for the back side, you have to do here at the front side, of course, exactly the same. When you are ready, I will show you how to make the final fringe because it's very, very easy. I don't know if I have the correct number of stitches for the Suzette stitch because I need an odd number. In case not, I will show you how to adjust the situation at the end of this row. At the end of this first row, I'm missing one stitch because I have to skip one and then the stitches are finished. So I'm missing one stitch. It doesn't matter. I will finish my stitch in the stitch where I started the back side. So skip one and single crochet one to finish this row in this stitch. Now chain two and turn your work and one double crochet in each stitch all across the row. In my case, I will work totally additional um, 12 rows to finish my cape. And then at the end of these 12 rows, I will show you how to make the fringe. Okay, so continue working. Of course, you can do so many rows you like for the length of your cape. I don't like too long capes, but of course, this is my own <laughs> desire, my own taste. Everyone has his own taste. So if you like the long cape, Please, you can work so many rows you like, of course. I'm not uh, judging the taste of anybody else. So, I will let you know at the end of my 12 rows how, how to do the fringe. Okay, I'm ready now for the final fringe at the front side. I worked 12 rows. This is the final row. Okay, enter the very first stitch and single crochet one. From here now, chain 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now go into the first single crochet you did, enter the body, this is the single crochet, enter into the middle of the single crochet body and slip stitch. Now single crochet one into the next four stitches below, so one, two, three and four 
and now simply repeat the same. Chain 14, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Slip stitch into the single crochet. This way. And now single crochet one into the next four stitches. One, two, three and four and repeat all across the row. I don't know the stitches left at the end of the row, we will see together. At the end of the row into the last stitch I had one, two, three, four stitches left. I made four single crochet and the last fringe into the last stitch. If you have five or six stitches, it doesn't matter. You can leave more stitches in between, uh, between the, um, the last fringe and the fringe before the last one, or you can leave just one single crochet left at the end of the row. You decide how to work in this case, okay? Now it's time to work for the neck of the escape. I'm working now at the neck. Slip note to start with a new yarn. You start from one of the stitches on the back side. Insert your hook in the stitch and slip stitch to join. Chain 2 which takes the place of the first double crochet. I put the yarn excess near the stitches so that I can hide it during my work. And now double crochet one in each stitch below all the way around. It's very, very simple. I just have to make two rounds like this with all single, all double, sorry, all double crochet all the way around. Very, very simple. Two rounds like that. At the end of each round, you simply slip stitch to join into the top of the chain two, like that. And you start the new round. This was the first one. This is the second one, which is exactly the same as the previous one. Double crochet one in each stitch below. Two rounds like that. Okay, now I will change stitch pattern. So I'm going to do two regular double crochet alternating with two front post double crochet. Two regular two front post, two regular, two front post. Show you how. Chain two which takes the place of the first double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet one. So I'm starting this round with two regular double crochet. Now in the next two stitches, one and two, two front post double crochet. I show you how. Yen over. Insert your hook under the body of the double crochet of previous round, round in this space, passing on the back of the double crochet below. And from here, pass the yarn through, pass through two, pass through two. One, the first front post is done. Now the second one, show you slowly. Okay, now two regular double crochet, one and two. And now again two front post, one and two. Continue like that all the way around, two regular, two front post all the way around. 
so many rounds you like till you reach the desired height for your neck. At the end of this round, slip stitch, slip stitch to join into the top of the chain two. And then repeat again the same chain two, which takes the place of the first double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet one, into the next stitch, double crochet one, front post double crochet, into the next one, front post double crochet one, to regular two front post, and then again to regular two one and two regular and two front post the first front post the second front post at the end of this round the last front post double crochet and then slip stitch to join into the first double crochet not the top of the chain but the first double crochet now from here chain two which takes the place of the first double crochet and then repeat the stitch pattern again exactly like you did until now okay okay two rounds with front post and now chain two next round you have to turn your work and into the next stitch double crochet one into the next double crochet one into the next two front post double crochet one one and two front post then again double crochet one and two and again two front post repeat all the way around so many rounds you need to reach the height you like for your neck Okay, seven plus two, nine rounds totally for the neck. And finally, just one final round with single crochet one in each stitch below as last refining round. That's all. Your cape is ready.